What's up everybody? Welcome back to Good X Gaming. I am Jax and we are here with a new game. I don't know how long this is going to go because I don't know how long this is. This is called Everything. Supposedly a simulation game that explores everything. Now, uh, I'm not sure how that works, but, uh, we're about to find out. Game belongs to Jax. Oh. Oh! I I'm- I'm a star? What is- Press A to think. Whose fault is this? What? Oh, this is pretty though. Who am I supposed to be? No. Whoosh! Whoa, I'm getting... Whoa! How did I get here? Um... Whoa! I'm a moose? I'm a moose! <laughs> um... Pardon? Pardon me? <laughs> <laughs> Hi Jax, you found me. Finally, I've been waiting for you for such a long time. Notice my thought had the icon. Look for others with this. We're here to show you what you're able to do and help you navigate everything. Good luck! <laughs> Why is this so funny? You are moose. <laughs> my death oh oh it's so good okay <laughs> everything sings singing is how all things communicate singing helps things find or avoid one another it deepens the bond between some things and separates others it's how things announce their existence so sing sing all day long I want to hear what you sound like and so does everything else if other things hear you they might sing back Sing to other animals when near by pressing the right thumbstick. Monkeys! Wait, what was that? Oh, okay, it's just swirls. I thought there was an interaction uh, trick. Oh no, it's gone. Wait, there's a thing over there. That's the thing! Ah! Fucking tumbling moose, I love it. I'm gonna make it to the end before you. Watch me. Bunnies! I don't know what I'm doing, but I know I love this. It's also just a very pretty game in general. I, like, there's a lot of games recently I've found that are simple exploration games like this. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but there was one that came out quite a few years ago that was like a forefront. It was basically a music themed world where everything would- Wolves! Why did you all turn your butts towards me? Um, okay, later! Press A in your thoughts to listen to thoughts. Horses! Nyaaaam! Oh, that's a lot of them. Right, are these donkeys or horses? No, they're mooses! Whoa! The tree just shibbied! Ah! You can go faster! <laughs> Fucking Christ, it's so good! Ah, a thought! What's having the thought? Oh, it's- Oh, Jesus! 
Hey, how far back do you think mooses go? You might not always feel it, but you look trillions of generations of mooses getting mixed up all the way back forever. It's incredible you made it through and finally arrived here. The other mooses around here are reflections of you from back then, each with their own dreams and lives to live. As you meet other mooses, you will sometimes feel inseparable from them, and find where you really start and end up, up to you. Other mooses are nearby. Join them by pressing or holding X when close. Ah! Wait, are those? Okay. <laughs> Fucking peacocks. Monkeys! I can't remember where the mooses are. There they are! Wait, I'm sorry, what happened? <gasps> I'm a herd! Oh, Jesus! Can I zoom out? No, I can't. <laughs> Faster! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, this is the greatest game ever made! I love this! Ah! Fuck! Oh! Okay, where are we going? I don't know, but I don't care. I am a herd of tumbling mooses. Fuck. I thought I saw a thought. No, I guess not. Oh, there's one over there. Go, mooses! Uh, Jax. What kind of name is that supposed to be? Jax, Jax, Jax. It sounds really weird. Well, fuck you too, Tree! There, there was a thought! Jerks. Ah, we go faster! <sighs> there you are! Over time, you might find there's no wrong, right or wrong path to take here. As you explore, you might feel that parts of you need to go in their own direction. Because you can't control everything at once. At least not yet. Try letting go of a few things. No! Fine. Another back! And now we go. Alright, so far this game is phenomenal. And highly entertaining. With a clearly hidden philosophical message somewhere I haven't reached yet. I love when it's sunny. Reminds me of the last time it was sunny. When I was younger, a giant bird of paradise and... When I was a younger giant bird of paradise and didn't even know... What? Whoosh. Wait. Okay, let's go to this side. Some things will help on your journey. Other things are just thinking about themselves and the situation they're in. You can trust all of them or none of them. It's up to you. Huh. Okay. Anyways, so aside from the tumbling animals and the interesting philosophical underpinnings, this game actually is pretty cool. It controls really smoothly. It feels vaguely Katamari-esque. As you wander around, you might sometimes feel a bit lost. That's normal, and you don't need to worry about it. Lots of things have passed through here and felt the same. But eventually, everything finds what it's looking for. It's interesting, though, that all of the things that are talking to me are plants. Ah, uh, the life of a globe seeder. That's life for me. It really good. It's good to be alive and then breathe the world in. We only get to do this once. <laughs> yeah. So good. When will this awful day end? I've had just about enough sun for today. Time for something else. Well, fuck you. I like the sun. Is there anything around? I want, I would like to, because I, re I read that, that when I bought this game that there's like, mo like so many playable things that it's like almost incalculable. Wait, I'm sorry, what? Is that a baby moose? It is a baby moose. Come with me, moose.
the fuck are these? Hey, I got an achievement, Traverser. Oh dear, okay. I, what I want to know is what are these yellow things? Like, I've seen a lot of them. But I don't know what they... Oh, hey! Uh, plot point hook. Wait, press X to join that other moose. Did we lose some mooses? Oh, he did. There we go, we got him though. Hey, what do you make of all the small things around here? All the plants and little creatures, are they here for you or are they here for them? It's hard to imagine that everything could be here for each other because you only think things see things from Moose's perspective. Just like is only just as I can only see things from a globe seeder's perspective. But if you want to, you can always see things from a little thing's point of view. Try it. Hold L2. <gasps> I'm a wolf! Yes! Much better! Nyam! Hi ho, wolves! I got another dog! Wait, I saw some. I saw one. I saw. Where did it go? I guess it's gone. Fuck! One of the fastest dogs around. <gasps> Wait, hold on. There's a bunny. You're a rabbit. Can I? I don't think I can. I don't think I can. Just Wait. 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 I'm sorry, what? 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 Whoa. Wait, can descend? <gasps> oh, that's cool. Wait. I wanna, I wanna become a... What are you saying? Pinecone, talk to me! Hi right, friend, it looks like you've seen things from a point, little thing's point of view. Now you might be wondering what it's like to see things from the other way. See things from big things point of view. Which is the right one. Okay, can not ascend, hold right trigger. Okay. No, I wanna... Yes! Aw, frogs don't tumble. I'm so tiny. Holy shit. Okay. Talk to me, Grass. Said, let me... There we go. I feel very sad today. To be honest, I've been sad all week. The other plants won't play with me and I don't know why. They call me weird rough grass and kick me around. Will you be my friend? What am I now? <gasps> can I? Can I? <laughs> Whoa! Not what I wanted, but okay. We're we'll rabbit again. Ah! Uh fucking Christ, this is so good. Uh let's go this way. I wonder what awaits us. Bear I wish I could find more rabbits. I want to have like a million rabbits just stampeding across the plains. That would be great, wouldn't it? 
It seems like bigger things take longer to bond with, too. Because, like, when I was the plants, I could bond in a split second, but now... Oof. Where are we going, rabbits? Hey, there's a thought. Are you a rabbit? You are. There we go. That's more like it. Ah. Maybe you also need to have more thing. Wait, what? Hello. What is this symbol? That's. Just wolves. Okay. Reveal your secrets to me. I find it a little difficult to say what the subject matter of this seminar is going to be. Because it's too fundamental to give it a title. I'm going to talk about what there is. Now... The first thing, though, uh, that we have to do is to get our perspectives with some background about the basic ideas which influence our everyday common sense, our fundamental notions about what life is about, ideas of the world <gasps> which are built into the very nature of the language we use, of our ideas of logic and of what makes sense altogether. I can be a forest. And these basic ideas I call myth, not using the word myth to mean simply something untrue, but to use the word myth in a more powerful sense. A myth is an image in terms of which we try to make sense of. What's above these? Whoa! Whoa! What? 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 What is happening? Oh. Oh, I can't descend on the planet. There we go. Ooh. All right, let's go smaller. I'm a horde of armadillos. Skip, 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 skip. Need more armadillos. Need more armadillos. Are you armadillos? No, you're plants. Don't. <gasps> Can I be a snake? I'm a snake! Snake! More snakes! All right, now that I've gotten, <laughs> I was gonna say now that I've gotten over the initial silliness, but I'm not gonna lie, seeing those camels tumbling is still pretty great. But um, it's become more of an, uh, an interesting thing. No, not what I wanted to do. Fuck. Uh. 
Oh, I've got to clear all this distance. <laughs> Fuck! There's gonna be something around here I can turn into. Oh, hello! You, as a human being, you grow out of this physical universe in just exactly the same way that an apple grows off an apple tree. So let's say the tree which grows apples is a tree which apples, using apple as a verb. And a world in which human beings arrive is a world of peoples. And so the existence of people is symptomatic of the kind of universe we live in. Just as hair on a head is symptomatic of what's going on in the organism. But we have been brought up not to feel that we belong in the world. So our popular speech reflects it. We say, I came into this world. You didn't. You came out of it. Huh. We say, face facts. We talk about encounters with reality. <laughs> as if it was a head-on meeting of completely alien agencies and the average person has the sensation that he is a somewhat that exists inside a bag of skin the center of consciousness which looks out at this thing what the hell's it going to do to me uh, i recognize you you kind of look like me and uh, i've seen myself in a mirror and uh, you, you look like you might be people <laughs> so maybe you're intelligent maybe you can love too and uh, maybe perhaps you're all right. Some of you are anyway. You've got the right color of skin or you have the right religion or whatever it is, you're okay. But there are all those people over in Asia and Africa and they may not really be people. When you want to destroy someone, you always define them as unpeople. That's an interesting point. I'm, I don't, I'm, huh. This game's gonna get a lot more uh, thought-provoking than I expected from the tumbling moose at the beginning. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna leave this episode off here with the tumbling camels. Uh, if you like the video, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. If you wanna buy me a coffee, the link's down below. I'd greatly appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching. Later, y'all.